I just that that uh, there's something about cults and there's something about um, like seeing people just hook, line and sinker, roll out the red carpet. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. That stuff freaks me out. That stuff freaks me out. I think because I've seen it, I've seen it with uh, martial arts, especially I've seen it all, uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of the old school martial arts schools were very culty, mm. very culty. You know, I don't know if you follow McDojo Life on Instagram. <laughs> oh, dude. I, I'm just going to give you a treat here. McDojo Life is an awesome collection of the fakest martial arts you've ever seen in your life. And something about these videos is so goddamn compelling because these people who are the students, they know the shit does not really work, but they pretend that it works because they're just, they're in a cult, you know? And this guy's like teaching people, like if someone comes to grab him, like to try to take him down like some wrestler. Check it out. He's going to put his hand here. Give me some volume on this, Jamie. Okay. Small intestine or you Small intestine. Small intestine. He's going to get it right from okay. the neck. And take the bladder point. The bladder point. Right along the center of the scapula. Just making right, shit up. Right here. Dude, just making shit up. Okay. So we'll got homeboy's mustache behind him. He'll come in. He comes in. He right touches him. Here. Hits him here. here. That's all you need to do, bro. Cain Velasquez shoots that power double. Just put that <laughs> left hand. On his, look at that. He just KO'd him. He KO'd him, bro. Get him, get him, up. Get him, get him up. up. This is important. Wow. He, he smacks the shit out of him. Smacks. <laughs> and this guy really that believes this. That's an anti-Gracie move. He says, "Bitch, try that. Let try that on Henzo. You fucking dummy." <laughs> There's so many of these, but this guy has like a, an awesome collection of them. Look at this. The guy gets out and throws everybody to the ground. Hiya! I am a master. They go. Just look at this, man. They're all they're all grabbing him and he's like, "But I have superpowers and you don't." They might as well be 5. They might as well be 5-year-olds on a playground and one of them pretends he's Doctor Strange. "You grab me, I'm going to send you back to Mordor." <laughs> <laughs> the first guy just goes straight for it. He doesn't even move for him. Yeah, it's so stupid. It's so stupid, but this is what I'm saying. These are cults. This is There's something about this shit that freaks me the fuck out. And I my martial arts school that I started out in, Taekwondo school, was very strict. There's a lot of discipline. It wasn't really culty, but it was a little... Every, everyone is... A, they're all a little culty. They're all a little culty. Well, there's master and mister and all that stuff. There's always a little bit of that, but we would go to tournaments and then we would see it full on, just full on cults. Like one guy would be the Kung Fu master and have all his students and they'd all be at his command and he'd be telling them what to do. They'd be like, yes, sensei. They'd scream it out and shit, just like Karate Kid. There's a lot of them, man. There's uh, hundreds of these weird little schools that were run by people that were running their own little cults. <laughs> but at least, at least at the tournaments, like you guys are getting to actually fucking compete right yeah so the kids even though they're they're like dogs they're well trained you know they always listen yes sir yes sir they mm. still get to get on the mat and they experience loss they experience some form of fucking real worldness right yeah, for it's, sure it's not like the shit on mcdojo yeah no but the, it's what's stunning about mcdojo life is how many of them there are i mean there's and they're making videos this is the thing these people like sh scroll just scroll and show how many videos this guy's got up i mean who i don't even know how many there's probably hundreds but the thing is, this is just what's on video, man. I don't understand how the, all the these... people that come to these places, they don't ask for competition. They don't ask to see somebody. They compete. don't know like, any better, do man. They always, but is it always like, uh, you that, know, oh, if I did forget, this to a man, he'd die. You know, like, is, that, is that what everyone believes? Look at this one. This guy, when a guy has a, his, a knife to his neck, he's going to smush the guy's hand with his chin. Watch this. He's going to make the guy tap. Check this out. The guy's got a knife right to his neck, and he's like, but what you need to do, try it on me. As soon as he gets that knife near me, not the same spot, bitch. That's not the same spot. Right? Watch this. He's like, okay, I give up, but I will take my hand, and then my chin will make your hand hurt like this. Watch this guy. This is dumb as shit. Hurry up and get to it. Here he goes. Look. He's making him tap. He's grabbing his own hand. See how he grabs his own head? Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that arm bar. Ferocious. 
ferocious. At no point in time would that guy have been able to stab the fuck out of him with that giant knife in his hand. That just still one. looks a little bit more believable than the other one. Go to the one right next to it where the guy's on the his knees. There, that one right there. Watch this one. This one's so fucking stupid. I mean, he can't. You can't. Reach me with that hand. <laughs> Reach me with that hand. Reach me with that hand. You cannot. <laughs> you, see, you cannot. You can't. Reach me with that Watch hand. Watch this. Reach me with that hand. Reach me with that hand. You cannot. <laughs> <laughs> the zoom in on dude's face. <laughs> Okay. The fucking handlebar mustache is like straight Ben Stiller. But this is why I think I get freaked out by cults, is that when I was a young teenager and I started doing martial arts, I saw like certain elements of that. I, you know, I went to Catholic school for just one year when I was young, when I was uh, seven, first grade, actually six, right? And uh, it was fucking horrible. And I, and I remember thinking like that I can't believe all these people are just doing this. Like all these people were following along. Like, it was like so awful. Okay, enough with the, I don't want to see any more of these. I can't. They're so stupid. They're all so stupid. He's got hundreds of them, man. But um, I recognized that like when I was young, I was like, this is not, this doesn't make sense. This is just, everybody's just going along with this. This is normal to leave your kids with this mean ass nun and all these fucking people are, everybody's like, stay in order. Everyone's nasty to you and they're hitting kids. Like, oof, it was awful. And I remember thinking, man, uh, there's something that happens to people when they get big groups of them together and they agree on irrational shit. There's some, there's some weird thing that happens to people where everybody this can't be right that lady is not acting in the name of god there's no fucking way she's a crazy mean old lady and i gotta listen to her because she works for god like this is fucking nuts can i talk to god does he know how she acts no you gotta talk through me yeah you gotta talk through her I she's got the a representative phone, I, I got of god. the phone line yeah your fucking parents take you there and drop you off and leave you with these monsters all day and you're like what and some of them got fucked right some of them got molested not just some of them quite a few so I think I had a healthy respect for that and fear of that when I was real young. And then I saw some of the same elements when I started doing martial arts, particularly with like some of the more ridiculous, like, like really rigid traditional type styles, a lot of Kung Fu. There was a lot of like, you know, for every hundred martial arts schools, you had three or four that were just flat out cults. I just made those numbers up. Out who, of was thin air. who was no idea? Like the one one percent. Who was the guy? Um, I think it was in it was in China that fucked up one of these fake oh, grandmasters, yeah. oh, and then he yeah. had to go into hiding. Yeah, who was well, that guy? There's two of them. Um, one of them happened recently. It was that was the guy with the yellow sneakers on? Right, he was an MMA guy. Yeah, 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 and he fucked this guy up. The, the, it took it's like not, all of like two strikes to fucking dismantle that old fart. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not fair. You're dealing with someone who's delusional, but it is fair because we all need to see that because there's some people that really did believe that guy had magic powers because they run a cult. Like these people that are doing all this death touch that when they see the their students like oh, uh, and they fall down, they believe that they're getting jolted and some weird might maybe not a hundred percent, but there's a, a small percentage of their ba brain that's willing to not just go along with it, but to believe this guy's something special. That guy with the yellow sneakers didn't give a fuck about that. He just beat the shit out of that dude. And for everybody else but that dude, that's good. You know, for that guy to to find out that he's not really some possessor of magic powers i mean if he really did believe it here it is oh red sneakers a different one maybe no this is it this is it he just beats the shit out of this dude i mean real quick he just storms him boom hits him with the right hand boom another right hand and just f gets him on the ground and beats the fuck out of him i mean this is like maybe six or seven seconds before they stop it he's out cold i have those mats in my house puzzle mats yeah they're in the they're living dope. room the I exact color. Gym. I check them like that too. Oh, you're an animal. You keep in the living room. Uh huh. That's that that's way we can just core. fucking do yoga. We can roll. That's hard. I'll wrestle with my son there. You'd freak people out if they came into your house if they're new in the neighborhood. So uh, hey, fucking hang out with me over, for a man. minute in the living room. Come on over and have some cacao. <laughs> Step into you're my like, gorge. Cacao. Yeah, it's like a mild <laughs> dose of MDMA. <laughs> hey, look at my living room. It's fucking wrestling mats. Nothing creepy about that. <laughs>